Morning, Laura. Morning, Kyle. Good morning. This is Compact DAC, NI's new simple, complete USB data acquisition system. It's a modular system with up to 256 channels and has built in signal conditioning for sensor measurements, so it can handle lots of different I.O. Compact DAC is a full feature data acquisition system. It can measure analog signals at over 3 mega samples per second with up to 24 bit precision, can read and control digital lines at 10 megahertz, has up to 2300 volts of digital isolation, automatically synchronizes all of the modules, and supports module hot swapping. And with all of those features, it's still extremely easy to use. Well, let's see how easy it is to use. All right. Just like a digital camera, all I have to do is connect a USB cable to my chassis, and the PC automatically detects it. Nice. But uh, there's no I.O. in the system, Kyle. Well, that's where the modular part comes in. These are C-series I.O. modules capable of analog input, analog output, digital I.O., and interfacing with a variety of sensor types. These are the same modules used in the Compact Rio platform, so you get the same measurement specifications and integrated signal conditioning on both platforms. With these modules, I can mix and match my I.O. to meet my specific application needs. While my chassis is still running and connected to the PC, I'll insert one module that gives us inputs for IEPE accelerometers and microphones. You can see it automatically appear in Max as I insert it. We'll insert another design for measuring thermocouples, and one more that gives us inputs for strain gauges and full bridge transducers. Now we can quickly open a test panel, and we're acquiring data. Wow, very nice. <clears throat> Well, that's a nice configuration, but can we measure something? Sure, Tim. Since you play baseball, we've designed a special bat for you here. <laughs> the grip of this bat contains a thermocouple to measure the temperature of Tim's hands, and the tip of the bat has accelerometers in two axes to measure acceleration. We've mounted strain gauges here and here to measure how much the barrel of the bat flexes when you hit the ball. All right. So if you'll go ahead and take this bat, our chassis has the correct I.O. to measure these signals. Laura has connected them. All right. So this is a loaded bat. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> all, all right, so you can see Compact Act simultaneously acquiring all of the data. The strain is changing a little bit as, as Tim stretches out there. Yeah, because my, my hands are cold. It's not because of the being up on stage. It's because I don't want to miss that ball. That's right. Tim, Tim's a little nervous, so uh, he's cooling off the grip there. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Show us that home run swing. All right. A double. The double, the double's all right. Yeah. It's going to take a lot more than Compact Dac and LabVIEW to fix that swing. If we had more time, I'd do it again. <laughs> okay, so we saw how easy it was to configure, but how easy is it to program? It's very easy. Let's look at the block diagram. Looks familiar, doesn't it? That's because you program Compact Dac with NI DACMX API, including Dac Assistant a way you're already familiar with, so there's no need to learn new software. Great. Well, this was a lot of fun, but the theme is what kind of impact we're having on the real world, so how's Compact DAC impacting the real world? Snell Memorial Foundation in California has been using Compact DAC as part of their helmet impact test station. They use outputs to calibrate and control a vertical drop and inputs to measure the impact. We visited them recently. Here's a video showing how they're making the world a better place with the help of Compact DAC. Pete Snell was a very popular race car driver who died in a slow rollover collision in 1956 from a massive head injury. We feel that this could have been easily preventable by using a state-of-the-art helmet of today. The Snell Memorial Foundation is a not-for-profit foundation dedicated to scientific research, standards development, helmet testing, and public awareness and education. There are a lot of motorsports enthusiasts on the road that rely on their helmets to protect their heads. Uh, we feel the best way to identify the helmets that really do a good job is by lots of stringent testing. One of the tests that Snell performs is the helmet impact test. We mount a helmet on a head form instrumented with an accelerometer. We then drop this head form on one of various shaped steel anvils simulating different impact surfaces. If at any time during the impact the helmet experiences more than 300 peak Gs, the helmet fails the test. We use digital I.O. to initiate the drop sequence. As the helmet is falling, a sensor passes through a velocity gate, and we use the counter timer function to measure how fast our helmet is falling, which is prior to impact. This also triggers the data acquisition system, which measures the acceleration that the head feels during the impact. 
The work that Snell has been able to do with the help of National Instruments helps us to honor Pete Snell in the very best way possible by keeping other motorsports enthusiasts alive to race another day. All right, so not only is CompactDAC an easy to use data acquisition system, it can also be used to handle complex test and control applications. That's right, the perfect combination of plug and play ease of use and high performance I.O. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Laura.